Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of What Are You Reading? from the Birmingham and Midland Institute. I am Samina and I'm the Honorary Librarian and I wanted to talk today about um, books as an actual artefact as opposed to the stories within them or the pictures within them. So I've brought along a couple of my own books. Um, previously to the way that books are printed today, books were printed on quarter folds. So you'd have four, the four parts of the page, which were then folded and sewn in to uh, make the book. And so you knew that the book was your own and you were the first person to have it because as illustrated here in a copy of Drinkwater's Poems, the pages aren't separated. So you would have a um, envelope opener, letter opener, and you would slit up the page and then you'd be able to read what's printed inside. There are words printed inside, as you can see. But I'm too scared to actually um, rip the pages so you can just read them by opening the pages like that. Now, this was one book that I saw on a television programme, um, Robin Hood by Howard Pyle, and it's supposed to be one of the original versions of Robin Hood. Now, you can tell that it's a new book now, not because you need to slit the pages, but because it comes wrapped in cellophane, which is not the best thing in the world, but it does keep your book nice and new. The problem with this book as an artefact is that I'm so desperately worried about the fact that I won't like the book that's inside and it's not what I actually think it's going to be. I haven't opened it yet. So I thought I'd open it with you. So I've got some scissors from downstairs. Scissors are a movable feast around here. So without slicing the book, it's like Christmas morning. Do you remember when you used to get just one book for Christmas and it was usually a Jackie annual or a shoot annual or a Beano annual, dependent on your age and your preferences. So there goes the cellophane. Oh, I really hope it's the one that I want. So it does look very beautiful. And it's gold edged and it's got a ribbon, which is very important in my world. So, the correct way to open a brand new book that's hardbound is to balance it like this and let it open naturally wherever it wants to open. And then to do it at various places within the book and then you won't break the spine as you go through. Handy tips for new books. And look at that. That's a rather beautiful replication, sorry, replication of an engraving. So it is exactly the book that I wanted, which is rather exciting. Oh, and another one. Mary Robin stops a stranger in Scarlet. One assumes that's Will Scarlet. I don't want to spoil the ending for you. And then if you just go through a new book like this and open it at any page where it wants to open, you slowly stretch the spine so you don't then crack the spine as you're reading it. Little John, in ye guise of a friar, stops three lasses. Or, stops three laffies because that's how S's used to be written. So I'm very excited that this is actually the book that I wanted. And I'm glad that I could share that with you. Sometimes it's just nice to have a beautiful book, whether you actually like what's inside or not, but I do like what's inside this. But I will introduce some of the books in our library in the same sort of way, just as the fact that they are beautiful artifacts as well as for what they contain so i hope you've enjoyed this and i hope you enjoy your next delivery of books take care